Merry Christmas to all of y'all. It's finally that time of the year. In Patreon, we put up a few suggestions for what we should do for our Christmas special. Would I Lie to You won by a landslide, but we figured we'd seen a lot of those before. What really popped off was Bob Mortimer on hey. Would I Lie to You. We did a part one and a part two, but there wasn't a part three. So what we did was we took a lot of recent Bob Mortimer Would I Lie to You clips, put them in a playlist, and we're going to let it play. Dude, I'm here. Bob Mortimer... I'm still not even done with this book, and it is a very intriguing book. But, you know, find the 25th hour. You know yeah, what I mean? I'm, I'm right. too busy being a, a father figure. So, yeah, exactly. So, I'm here for this. I need Bob. I need yeah. to hear Bob. I need to see Bob. That's Bob is a friend of the channel. Yeah, Bob is life, basically. Bob is life, pretty mm -hmm. much. It's Latin for life. Mm -hmm. Everyone knows this. Figure the only... Thing that we're gonna see that's familiar here is this first one is just all of Bob Mortimer's names, uh, but some come to mind. Uh, other than that, uh, fresh Bob Mortimer. Let's hey, let's do it. Let's do it, man. I'm here for it. All right, three, two, one. One of them's called something, and the other one likewise is named as well. <laughs> <laughs> to change the names because these are real legal proceedings that we're talking about. Right. <laughs> well, why does the fact that it's real legal proceedings mean you have to change the names? Because I don't think it's fair to say that, let's say she's called Barbara Lighthouse. Yeah. <laughs> Lived in the horror of cockroach infestation. I got an expert from uh, the University of Cambridge um, called Broccoli High Kicks. <laughs> <laughs> Broccoli High, High kicks. kicks. Oh my God. Uh, hey, I want to use that. I want to use that right here. Yeah. I want to use that. Just, just, I love, I love that. I love that I can change my little name. You yeah. Know? Are you going to, you're going to, every time you laugh, you're going to change your name? Well, no, no. I'm just saying for future references. Okay. I will, I will always, I will use Bob Mortimer from yeah. now on. And There's... those in the Patreon will know. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone, like, you're going to have a lot of good names to choose from oh here in, in a second. Should I write them down? No. Yeah. I want to write them down. Guys, this is bro <laughs> broccoli high kicks. Um, broccoli high kicks. I'm, I'm just gonna take notes. Yeah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Go, go All for right. it. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna play a play. Yeah. We went to court. Yeah. <laughs> Ronnie Omelets was the housing officer. <laughs> you haven't changed his name, have you? <laughs> Did he have a name? <laughs> Ronnie Omelets. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh my god, what the fuck? Oh, You're gonna god. be running a while, man. I know, mean, oh, fuck it. I'm just gonna rewatch this. All right, I got, you're just gonna rewatch it. Got, okay, yeah, I got, I got two. I don't have time. He, <laughs> <laughs> how do you? There's only one person that rivals Bob Mortimer with random ass names. Who's that? Is probably the guy from Psych. Every oh, time, yeah. every time he introduces his partner. He always had another name for him. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. I remember and, that. And man. Oh, Ronnie Omelets. What? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Oh, God. Here we go. Here we go. In the summer. We, we, we called it. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> we did. We called it. <laughs> <laughs> so are you upset, Bob? I can yeah. tell. If you, if you need a minute, it's okay. <laughs> but what did you call it? Sorry? What, what did you call it? What did we call the owl? Yeah. Well, we called him Mavis. <laughs> Stava and Bagger. Uh, <laughs> Jonathan. <laughs> or J Keg, as I call it. <laughs> um, Billy the Pigeon. <laughs> Jack, okay. Neil Overall, a, a Jerry Dungaree's son. Of course he was. <laughs> Didn't take his father's name. <laughs> <laughs> hated him. Yeah. Hated him. So, and, but, and, and Gary Cheeseman would be there. The reason he was called Cheesy is because his mum used to give him a cheese, you know, the cheese slice? Yeah. To take out with him yeah. when we were hanging around the shops what? and that, because she wanted, because she thought it was good for his spots. <laughs> and she wanted him to call some slice. Surely it's because of his surname Cheeseman. <laughs> no, no. Cheesy <laughs> 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 Gary Cheeseman. Uh, Dude. It, 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 we've seen this before, but 
it's still funny as hell. It's been a minute though. Right, right. And a thing has changed that we recognized Catherine Parkinson from IT Crowd yes. on there. So that's that's something that's changed. Yeah, and I just man, he's too quick. Yeah. You can't listen, he's like the um uh, the the guy from uh Princess Bride. It's like it's inconceivable that guy, like you know what yeah. I mean? Like yeah. you don't know, but <laughs> You you haven't seen that movie. I I am. I saw I will, it one time, but I don't remember n- that part. Oh god damn it! All right. Anyway, <laughs> love it's like Bob ODS. Mortimer. I love Bob Mortimer. God damn it! You really haven't. Like, you don't remember Princess Bride? That's no. such a great fucking crazy movie. Anyway. No. Oh god. Damn Add it to the list. Add it to the list. That was part of it. <laughs> you know, Gary Cheeseman was a big lad. Yeah, a very big head. Sniper's dream, they used to call it. <laughs> Tell us more about this cat. What was its name? Its name was Good Monson. It was a... Uh, what? Good <laughs> Monson? Never ask Bob the name of anything in the story. <laughs> have we learned nothing? His name's Good Monson. Good Monson. Good Monson. Monson Good. as in the word monsoon no, with Monson. an O missing. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Good Monson. What are the names of your award-winning beers? <laughs> the, the, the one that's my favourite is called Kiss the Alderman. Retail Park. Not now, madam. <laughs> <laughs> it seems funny now. That's why we used it. Michael, or Mickey's, you know, Mickey the Drink. He's. <laughs> Mickey what, the... Why is he called Mickey the Drink? <laughs> So what, what press? So who, who, who did you speak to? Local press. Because they, they came to the house while it was burning? Yeah, you know, they're, they're hats on, trilbies, <laughs> sniffing around. <laughs> <laughs> With those little bits of paper in the Were they called things like Scoop McLean? <laughs> <laughs> I believe he was called Ron Waffle. <laughs> Sorry, Ron so, Waffle. It was either him or the other ace reporter on the Gazette was John Caramel. Uh, it was one of them two. Caramel and Waffle. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. I... <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh, man. Those were two of my favorites. Is it, is it Caramel and Waffle? I. I uh, it's nice to have. It's nice to have Bob back. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 a, a part that I miss from it is not just you know him, but him and you know bantering with David Mitchell. Yeah, like that that's a key ingredient to this. Dave, to this part. David Mitchell has has just elevated in my eyes because of our journey down the the peep show. Rabbit yeah, Hill. yeah. At the time of this recording, we're just starting series six on patreon and the jailbreak ones will be coming in 2024 i mean so, uh, man it, it's what? like the 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 line between david mitchell and mark corrigan in my <laughs> eyes is very blurred yeah it's the same if i call him mark it would it would it would it would be the same he knows exactly who i'm talking to yeah exactly oh man he was a really nice teacher called um, Bill Whittlingham. <laughs> <laughs> we, we were we were travelling in a Morris Minor, and we were sleeping in the car. There was three of us. That's me, me, met Harry Harriman and Steve. <laughs> Steve Feverman. <Steve. laughs> <laughs> Steve, by the way. That's my favourite right there. <laughs> <laughs> he was called Steve, Steve, by the way. He was. He was. By he the was. Way. was. Steve, by the way, as in incidentally. Yes. <laughs> anyway, as we came out of the shop, I was grabbed by a policeman, and it was a sergeant, by the way. Sergeant, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> what was the One newspaper? One of my favourite moments. Uh, my local. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was called the South London Press. Are you from South London? <laughs> I was in the lead up to the headline, The Cockroach King. <laughs> we do beg your pardon. <laughs> yeah, we're in, your garden. in your garden. Yeah. Yeah. Still, I still, we haven't done that, uh, that challenge yet. 
Uh, now, okay, Cockroach King, that's next. That that was been referenced a couple of times, so I wanted to be sure that one was next. <laughs> My first taste of fame was when the local newspaper dubbed me the Cockroach King. <laughs> uh, what was the newspaper? My local. <laughs> um, it was called the South London Press. Are you from South London? <laughs> I was in the lead-up to the headline, The Cockroach King. Why were you in the public eye doing what? I was a solicitor at the time, mm -hmm. and I sued the local authority. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, how many pauses he's taking is making this for me? Uh, 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 he's, his timing, dude. You can't rival his timing. Yeah, uh, and then, like just like how the the look on his face is just he is like, he is un unmatched in wit and mm -hmm. and 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 timing. Like I'm yeah. sorry, man. Like in all of our journeying right through Bob Mortimer, he is just a funny human, not a comedian. Funny human. Right, right. I, I, I would love to just spend a moment around. Yeah, like a, a whole night of drinking yeah. would probably be the most fun thing you could ever <laughs> with him. Yeah, absolutely crazy. Yeah, uh, and I, I know for a fact that he's not from South London. He's from uh, Middlesbrough. Um, if I got that right, then you have to leave a like on the video. Ooh, yes, <laughs> yes. So maybe... I haven't played the game yet, but I think I know which way I'm leaning right now. Because of cockroach infestations in the council houses. Yes! <laughs> That's what I did. <laughs> and of course, it was that kind of style in court that won the day. You know? <laughs> we settled outside of court, actually. But the... <laughs> to change the names because these are real legal proceedings that we're talking about right well, why does the fact that it's real legal proceedings mean you have to change the names because i don't think it's fair to say that let's say she's called barbara lighthouse yeah. <laughs> lived in the horror of cockroach infestation were you representing barbara lighthouse i was yes. she's engaged your services she's engaged my services i visited her property must have been ages to get to the top. <laughs> <laughs> there were Egyptian cockroaches. So I had an idea, right? I said, I bet this is bad for your mental health, living with cockroaches. And I um, took them to the magistrate's court on a private criminal prosecution under the Public Health Act. Why are you counting every letter in the <laughs> Are you working out as the charger? No. <laughs> you mentioned the Egyptian cockroach. The Egyptian cockroach, How yeah. many? I wasn't aware there were different types. They live in the concrete, um, and they can actually live off the concrete that the buildings are made. So, they so eat Bob, the Bob, concrete. concrete? Yep. Bob, they, they, they li they've got some hard cockroaches. <laughs> they live in the concrete. They nip out to go behind the fridge or the cooker. <laughs> or to turn the light out. <laughs> <laughs> Did so, these, what were the size of these Egyptian cockroaches? They're long and thin, slip right in. <laughs> <laughs> that's, my pro, that's my profile on Tinder. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, that's another key, is Lee Mack, just with the quick stuff. That's one of I, our most viewed videos uh, for a reason. I've, I've missed this. Seriously, I've missed man. this, man. Yeah. God. Man. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Is that the cockroach king? would suggest a champion of the cockroach rather than an opponent. Or, or the in fact, their leader. Yes. Did you lead the cockroaches away like the Pied Piper? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> what happened was... Is I got an expert from uh, the University of Cambridge um, called Broccoli High Kicks. <laughs> a 
Again, I've changed his name. His brief from me was, can you in any way argue that this is contrary to public health? He confirmed it, um, went to court. It's all coming ever so clear now. <laughs> <laughs> we went to court, yeah? Ronnie Omelettes was the housing officer. <laughs> you haven't changed his name, have you? <laughs> and what was she called? Barbara Lighthouse. <laughs> The lighthouse brought a, a clear jar of the cockroaches with her and poured them over Ronnie omelettes. <laughs> right? Of course, yeah. he was very frightened, didn't know what to do. Oh. At which point, Barbara Lighthouse said, I think I've made my point, <laughs> you know, to the housing officer. Yeah. This is what I live with. <laughs> so the council agreed to rehouse. Next day, the cockroach came. <laughs> Gonna say, Dave, anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? So, so first of all, before we play the game, now I'm I might be getting why he changes the names and comes up with these stupid names. It's because he of his career as a solicitor. He names have been changed to protect the identity of the innocent and the guilty, probably. And uh, then, and then, and then it makes more sense. Yeah. It because. So, so I, automatically, I put Bob Mortimer as a as a defendant of those that are seen on Judge Judy, <laughs> where where like what the fuck is going on? Yeah, looking for looking for a fraternity test. Wait, that's Maury. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, and so the fact that he has to come up with names all the time is awesome. But I get yeah. it, like you said, like you know, because he was a solicitor. Right, right. Which is different from a lawyer, apparently. And 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 a lot of his cases are need to be need to be changed. Yeah. So yeah. interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. You... <laughs> but what do we think? Is he lying or telling the truth? Oh, Bob Mortimer tells the truth, man. In yeah. the most abstract, what the fuck kind of way. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you there. I, I I think he's telling the truth on this one. Like, it's... like that's why he had to come up with these crazy names. He's got to be telling the truth. What the fuck, man? Yeah. God right. damn. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. That bizarre that only Bob could make it up. So I think that's true. Mm. That doesn't make sense. Who's saying? <laughs> He's saying only Bob could make it up, only then Bob he could have made it up. That, no, only Bob can make it up like that. Right. So convincing. Yeah. So we're in we're trouble, stupid. aren't we? Because <laughs> when you're saying that, if anyone else had said it, it would definitely be true because they couldn't have invented it. The one person who's saying it is also coincidentally the only human who yes. could also have invented it. it. Yes. Awesome. What a terrible set of circumstances. <laughs> Do you think it's true? Uh, yes, let's say it's true. Uh, we're going to go true. OK. Now, Bob, truth or lie? I was telling the truth. <laughs> All right. All right. It one for one. One for one. His his life, man. Like he, I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you the book right after I'm done with it. All but, right. When 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 we meet up next, we, we do oh, an exchange. My God, dude. Because after this, I got Vinny Vegas. Yes. So, yes. Yes. So um, but dude, Bob Mortimer, man, what in the shit? Yeah. Love this, him. There's no, there's no stones unturned with this guy. Mm-mm. 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 Uh-uh. It's uh, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot of people know this. <laughs> <laughs> Which is handy for this game. <laughs> Including me. <laughs> but I am a qualified dog masseur. <laughs> Um, David. Okay, first oh, of all, wow. when it comes to dog massage, what is the qualification structure? I've got a B Tech. A B Tech <laughs> in dog massage. <laughs> and what what was the process of obtaining that? I went to my local further education college. I admit this was for a television program. Okay. Right. I did a what was it been a nine month B Tech, and I did it in three months. <laughs> what was the television program? It was a well, it didn't happen. You don't tell them it's not true. No, I mean the TV. <laughs> On the thing. I think he's just giving up. I think he's just going, oh no, it didn't happen. Oh no, no, I, 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 just, I just had 
to read this card. I don't know. <laughs> the television programme never came to fruition. How do you massage a dog? Talk us through it. Well... <laughs> thank you for that, firstly. <laughs> it depends, obviously, what breed it is. Alsatian. An Alsatian? Is it tattooed or just plain? Plain. <laughs> <laughs> tattooed. Since the advent of the devil dogs and that, the Alsatian's lost a lot of its clout, hasn't it? But some of them get tattooed now to up their street, you know. But the owners do it. Oh, this should be so simple. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, what the fuck? <sighs> it should be so simple. It's... It... I couldn't imagine, and I bet there are, and I, I hope they rot in hell. Are there dogs that are tattooed? I don't know, Get man. Get the fuck out of here. Like, I, I, I can't really think of any dog breeds that have no hair. I mean, I there's some that have short hair, but no hair. I, I'm not what thinking of any. I'm sure the, someone has already typed one out. What is that? I'm interested. Yeah. I mean, not really. Like, don't don't send me shit. But that's interesting, yeah. to say the least. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, uh, oh, man, dog masseuse. Like, 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 Nana takes Bella to the groomer, and you know, trims her hair, does her uh, uh, toenails and all that. But no, like, mas I don't know if there's a massage part of that, and. There, I assume there has to be, dude. I don't know, man. But is it just just petting your dog? You know, that's I have no idea. Our our no head idea. scritch is not enough. I have no idea. This is out of my level. Yeah, obviously. N yeah. Mm -hmm. If it's not true, Bob, you've made it really tricky for yourself. <laughs> How do you massage your dog? It depends if it's got oh, tattoos. Well, I, was just making, I, was, I was using that silly idea <laughs> to illustrate that the first thing is you'd have to do is assess the temperament Every dog is different. of the dog. Yeah. Yeah. If the dog has a gentle, kind um, soul. soul to it, mm. you should and must start on the neck, the nape of the neck, move round to the shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> the shoulders. If it's a bit testy, a bit, bit freshly, do you know, like a little snappy poodle, something yeah. like that, you start on its haunches because it's weird. You might find this with your cats as well. The, 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 the way that's a separate course, surely. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing they say in the cat massage B Tech. Now, just because you may have a dog massage B Tech, you probably think you know your way around a cat. <laughs> When you're administering your skills, yes. where is the dog? Is it on the floor? Where, where is it typically? A massage table. It's wiped down, of course. With a hole for its face. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say, yeah. this is oh, very disrespectful, the way that you're all carrying on to the... <laughs> 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 to, the to, the to the people who run the B-Tech horses. Have you got a dog? <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> He's not allowed to keep him. He's barred. <laughs> <laughs> First dog I dig it on was a, a golden lab, golden retriever. Yeah. Golden fish. <laughs> <laughs> you just separate their back paw. You, you encourage them onto the side. You separate their back, their, you know, their fingers. I mean, I'm no terminology. Pads. Not great. Pa yeah. You, why would you know the terminology? Of, <laughs> I mean, you, it was only a three-month rush speed test. <laughs> So, knowing that things like, you know, the name for a dog's foot, that's, <laughs> that's advanced stuff. It's a paw. You can, you can drain the, their equivalent of the lymph system as well. Wow. You can drain their lymph system? <laughs> How? Where? How? Their lymph system, yeah. like our, their lymph system is under their uh, arm. Yeah. I'm not wrong, I know it's not. Is it an arm? <laughs> It's a leg. But well, they've got four legs, dogs. Yeah. <laughs> the famous have got four legs and no Never arms. Never mind complicated stuff like the arms and legs. Let's, yeah. get, let's go back to the basics of the lymphatic system. <laughs> so, David, which, which way is your team leaning here? Dude. Oh, it, man. It has to be true. The yeah. fuck is he talking about? I'm, I'm pretty much just going to say true to all of these because I just want them all to be true. I, I need him to be a dog masseuse. 
the yeah. fuck? Uh, just, just add that to the laundry list of accolades this man's had. Yeah, yeah. He's done it all. So I'll, yeah. I'll go with you. I'll go true. <laughs> yeah. oh, I don't no. <laughs> it could be very true, but... The thing is, I really... The poor thing. Do you think yeah. it's true? No, no, it's a lie. It's got to be a lie. it's true? It's... No, it's a lie. Well, I think we think it's a lie. Yeah. What are you basing that on? <laughs> well, I'm basing it on the fact that the old... three months BTEC <laughs> for a programme that might not happen... Yeah. ..and also you don't seem to know much about <laughs> Dog Massa. You haven't asked me anything. Anything. <laughs> I think we have asked you questions. This is the longest conversation about rubbing a dog I've ever had. Let's go lie. OK, we'll go lie. You see, it's a lie. I don't think you've thought enough about this. Right, Bob, they are saying that it is a lie. Were you telling the truth or were you telling a lie? I was telling a lie. OK, oh. fine. Whatever, whatever. You know, I will... listen with with Bob Mortimer, man. Could you blame us for getting it wrong? Yeah, you know what I mean, like, we just, dude, we just wanted it to be right. This, it's okay. We're batting five hundred now. Listen, this man has lived a life of absolutely zero what ifs. Yeah, yeah. There's no what ifs with this guy. Uh, I, I, I can't, I can't assume like. He would just fill up a whole year's worth of just stories, I bet. Yeah. That I could just get lost in. Oh, so... yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Let's see what he's got. I once masterminded a daring heist on a campsite tuck shop. <laughs> <laughs> David's team. <laughs> okay. All right, so it's the same uh, episode. Because they're all the same, same people there. Okay, right. got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Uh, where was the campsite? Hexham. <laughs> <laughs> what did you steal? What did you take? I, Jay, my memories of this <laughs> are quite vague. I was only 15. Okay. 15. Okay. Yeah. I still remember what you took. Yes, though, but it's thought. like picking bits of pollen off a mouse's handkerchief. <laughs> <laughs> Forensic on me. <laughs> it's like pulling pieces of pollen off of a mouse's handkerchief. What? That's my <laughs> new saying right there, dude. <laughs> what in the shit? I'm here for it. There's a lot of quotable stuff here. That's for damn sure. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, so, don't ask him any questions. Yeah, so, all right. <laughs> Should have move on. <laughs> we just we were can invited just, to just believe can you him. Just tell us what you do remember, Bob. Not not in general about this story. I remember. <laughs> oh, oh, I, I remember me and Jean. Jean were lovely. Oh, your teeth fell out. You remember that, don't you? Your teeth fell out. There's uh, a lot of wind. You remember waking up in threshers? Don't you remember that? <laughs> so it was Hexham. It was yeah. Hexham. <laughs> um, and what uh, sort of a campsite? Was it tents or caravans? It was no dormitories, wooden. Yeah. It's coming back. Wow. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> when you... And um, it was for gifted children for the summer. <laughs> is, is that what they told you, Bob? <laughs> yes. <laughs> there are people there, um, interesting people with different gifts. gifts. What was your gift? And they were allowed to bring a friend. There was. There, no, <laughs> <laughs> So there was people who were good at pottery, people good at art, yeah. people who were gifted at fencing. Or, um... We're all very curious to know, Bob. <laughs> what were you good at? I was there because of my special abilities at football. And the camp wasn't just for children who were good at football, it was for children who were good it at was a for wide gift, range of things. Gifted children. Right. So you were proposed okay. by the school or the local authority. <laughs> 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 it was huts in a pine forest, a place where you could canoe, a place where you could pot. Yeah. yeah. All boys. All boys in my dorm. Yeah. Do you remember any of them? I was with um, Pork Chops Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> He has a very <laughs> thick layer of fat across his back. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Pork Chop Johnson. <laughs> oh, God. Burn it down. Pork Chop Johnson. <laughs> oh, my God. That sounds like like a contemporary of B.B. King, like yeah. in the mid-50s Mississippi Delta, right? making it with the blues. Like <laughs> Pork Chop jo- That's Pork Chop Johnson, dude. Yeah, that's, gotcha. that's, Ro- that's Robert Johnson's uh, uh, lesser known yeah. brother. Yeah. The one pork. that got his got Robert Johnson's soul back from the devil. Fucking pork chop Johnson. God damn it. <sighs> God. Because this is a criminal enterprise, I'm not using their real name. Oh, of course. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Blanchot Jenkins. <laughs> Blanchot Jenkins, he just had a thin bone. <laughs> so there were, um, and there was the mole. The mole. The mole, they're the two, they're the two people that I carried out the um Heist with. Why did you decide to do this heist? Well, it was the evening. Yeah. And the nights had got, gotten quite long. <laughs> <laughs> there was a summer camp. Winter was drawing in. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, the gifted children hadn't been picked up. They <laughs> were being left there to fend for themselves. <laughs> See if among their gifts are foraging and surviving the cold. <laughs> well, never a better equipped group of people to be abandoned. We, we had archers, potters, fencers. <laughs> <laughs> footballers, those are the key things you need. We can sort out the archer in the football, <laughs> then we have a civilization. <laughs> <laughs> so, it was evening, yeah. and there was a tuck shop there. Well, it was one of the huts. What we noticed, right, was that the tuck shop was on a slope, right? So there's an angle created, yeah? It's at an angle, I'm not very good right. Say if a duck went quack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But not, not the angle if it went fox! <laughs> <laughs> so, but about that, an end that was raised, yeah. and they'd filled that in with stones and <laughs> soil. Yeah. So we went down there. Yeah. Oh, what happened? Well, first off, of course, yeah. the mole removed the stones. <laughs> Chop Johnson. Yeah. Yeah. He slid in and with that magnificent back. Yeah. I would have thought he's the last person to be sliding for us. <laughs> the man with the biggest back. Above him is floorboards. Bang! Oh, you mean he used his back to get the floorboards up? Yeah. Got one up. Then is that when small head Bob went through? <laughs> <laughs> so he gets in. He gets in. We heard an engine start up. So I gave I gave out the cry, a warning. Whiffle. What? <laughs> <laughs> go, go, go. Right. We went. Yeah, so you heard somebody. So did you get anything? Yes. yes. What, yeah. did what did what you did get? get? A box of cereal. <laughs> One packet of cereal. What did you do with it after? Well, we ate it in the dorm with, with, with everyone in the dorm. Oh, with everybody in the dorm. Yeah. Did you eat, okay. eat it dry? Yes. Well, what? we put a bit of urine on it. <laughs> 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 yes. uh, <laughs> Think, David. <laughs> <My> <laughs> Put a bit of urine on it. Hey, man, it's all about. <laughs> Jeez, never mind, dude. What? Uh... Like that? Like even just take a page out of Friday and put water on that. One hundred percent. What the hell? Oh my God, Bob Mortimer. Oh, if God. this, if this is true, I my heart breaks. <laughs> and it just stole cereal like after and, all of that after all of that that rivals the great escape you get fucking just cereal and you piss on it yeah uh, come on uh, uh, i'm i think this one i'll i'll go lie because i'm gonna go lie as well yeah yeah my instinct is it's not true yeah. But it could be true. Yeah. I mean, it's Bob. <laughs> I, I don't think it happened. So you think lie. it's a lie? I'm going to go with Sue. I like the story, but I think it's a lie. I think we're going to go lie. You're say lie. Br- you know, I'm braced. <laughs> I'm braced for an odd experience. No. <laughs> so, Bob, was it the truth or was it a lie? I was telling the truth. Oh! Oh!
Oh my god, seriously? What the shit? <laughs> For cereal? Uh and a piss on it. I am Okay. It's Bob. It's Bob. It's, it's Bob. This man, listen, he raises you. If you think you live a full life, he raises you a a pissy cereal. Like <laughs> Go for it. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, man. Legend. Yeah. With poor Top Johnson. <laughs> poor Top Johnson. Oh my, oh, my God. I once plucked a seagull out of the sky with my bare hands just because my mate Dennis bet me I couldn't. <laughs> there <you see. laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> I love how David's just like, <laughs> like fuck, fuck it. It's true. Fuck. I just like, let's get this over with. It's like, we have to, we, we, we can't be on here all night. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, all right, it's Bob. It's true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> um, where were you? On Radka Beach, northeast of England. What were you doing? I was eating chips. The bird comes for the chips. That's a classic Northeast chat up line, isn't it? <laughs> like, birds come for the chips. <laughs> so which hand are you holding the chips in? I, I, I think it was the right, because as I remember it was. That's your left. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> That's your left. <laughs> your left. And okay. are you left or right handed? I'm right handed. OK. You've kept your dominant hand for bird catching. It's ready, <laughs> not just bird catching, there's all sorts goes off on Red Beach. <laughs> Catch it with one hand or two hands? I caught it with one hand. Just wow. like that? Yeah. When was this? This was be about 77, 78. Years ago. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking good. <laughs> it was the early days, actually. It's very prevalent now, isn't it, them swooping down for ice cream? Yes. But in those days, it seemed quite a rare event. You could hold your chips. That was part of the game, and keep hold of them, let a pigeon get them, and, you know, let it take its... A it's... pigeon, you say? <laughs> Seagull. Seagull. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, what are you thinking about this? I think it's not... Uh, I'm... You know, this one's tough, because it was all those years ago, and we didn't have, you know, portable cameras in our pockets, even those Polaroids back then. Yeah. Right. You know, so just on the basis that he can confuse seagull with pigeon, I'm going to say lie. I want to say true because, I mean, they're 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 air air rats. Yeah. You know, yeah. so, yeah, you could definitely catch one. Pretty much. All right. We're split on this one. Let's see. True. Because they're massive. Oh, it's a big bird, yeah. Yeah, massive. they are massive. And in 77, how big would you have been in 77? Six foot, six foot two. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> so, Miles, what are you thinking? I think it's it's true. And if not true, it's a sort of charming kind of Ken Loach film. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this puts David in a, an unenviable position. David. I still got it. I'm not saying you haven't got the speed, but you've got to connect with the leg of a large seabird. It's not a leg, is it? Well, I, well, the seabirds have legs. What? <laughs> I think you've been wrong. What do they call it? You know that thing that their foot is attached to? What would you call that spindly bit that goes up to their body? Well, now you say it, it's a leg, but doesn't that seem a bit odd that birds have legs? <laughs> You know when you get served a chicken or a turkey? It's, it's... a chicken leg. Exactly. <laughs> so come on, what's it going to be? OK. Uh, I'm... Do you want to change your answer? Come on, man. No, it's still true. All right, all right. Yeah, it's just being Bobby and Bob, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm going to go lie. Oh. You're saying... Are you sure about that? No, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> but lie is the answer you want to put forward, is it? The lie is what I'm going with. He says it's a lie. Bob, truth or lie? I was telling a lie. Oh, 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 nice. Nice. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, I knew, I knew it, man. Like this, like I know it's happened before. I know that you know it's possible. Yeah. But at the same time, <laughs> when he confused seagull with pigeon, I was like, no way. No Dude, way. Yeah, no. You're right. You're right. You're right. 100%. Oh, well. You got it. You got it. 
All right. So what are we what are we at right now? I've gotten two right. You've gotten uh, one right. One right, maybe. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah. Somebody keep score here. Like we're too lazy to keep score. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. No one wins in this game. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, God. Uh, I've put a toaster on my bedside table, and the last thing I do at night is pop two slices of bread in it, ready for the morning. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty convenient. Like, but then again... Old toast? Yeah, a toaster on his bedside. Yeah, like, but cold toast? Well, it's ready for the morning. You know, you, 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 you roll over, yeah. Put the, the the thing down to toast it, and after you're gro- you're, you've waken up a bit, and after your eight hour or ten or twelve hour sleep, you eat your cold toast. <laughs> I I don't know. I don't know. If, did he say whether or not he, he, he before bed? Before bed. Let, let me let me read that one again. Yeah, I'm, I I need to see this. It's Bob. Oh, God. Uh, I've put a toaster on my bedside table, and the last thing I do at night is pop two slices of bread in it, ready for the morning. <laughs> okay, so he didn't say that he put down the toaster and turned it on, so so maybe he just waits for the morning to put it down. But he puts the, the, the bread in the slot. True. <laughs> True. Okay. All right. I'll go. I'll. I'll go through for now. I'll let him tell his story, and then we'll reconvene. Yep. Right. So, you put the bread in the toaster, <laughs> but you don't put the toast down. No. No. That would be crazy. So in the unless mor- you're using it as an alarm clock for a three-minute nap. <laughs> so in the morning, do you wake naturally or do you have an alarm? I have an alarm, yeah. but I tend to wake up before the alarm goes right. off. It's one of the reasons I do it, because at the heart of it is to not wake other people up in the house. Oh, oh right, OK. What, what do you put on your toast in the morning? Have you got, like, a little... some butter? In or? the little cupboard there. I've got honey, I've got Marmite pots, I've got, so, I've got a good selection. So, in the morning, you wake up before the alarm. What yeah. do you do then? I turn on my tea's made. <laughs> Right. There we go. <laughs> I don't yes. think everyone knows what tea's made. It's no. like a, it's it's where alarm clock meets <laughs> kettle. It's a combination, <laughs> and you set them the night before, and you wake up, and the kettle's boiling. Is the tea's made in the toaster on the same bedside table? No, it, as it's the alarm clock. No, the tea's made is just tucked round the other side. So you wake up, you reach round the bedside <laughs> table onto the tea's made that's on on the floor. Is yes. it? And it's just the. Why are you not just going downstairs to do uh, this? Because all my children, and there are a lot of them, um, <laughs> sleep downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> They're out <laughs> call bucket. <laughs> Why do they sleep downstairs? <laughs> because that's where their bedrooms are. I don't, I'm not being facetious. There's only space for you to yeah. sleep at. Upstairs, but downstairs, there's a great breath. Great breath for all these children. Yeah. <laughs> now, what about eating the toast? We haven't put the toast down yet. <laughs> He's turned the switch on the tea's made by reaching round rather uncomfortably, but, but you, so, so he doesn't acting. have to get out that's of bed. Acting. You go... Yeah, no, yeah, okay. It's so there. You do... Okay, done that. Yeah. What do you do then? I sit on the bed. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. And cry. <laughs> Let's see, thinking, here we go, because it's five o'clock, whatever. Five o'clock? In the morning? He doesn't want to wake the kids up, they're Is up it... in half an hour to clean the chimneys. <laughs> As someone who doesn't want to make noise, you've chose the noisiest breakfast to eat as well, yeah. munching on a bit of toast. No, my wife's OK, it's just all these children that you just can't. <laughs> you just can't. As soon as you... If you were to go downstairs, yes. as soon as you set foot on the... On the lower floor, but hundreds of children would wake up, and you'd never get <laughs> you'd never get to the kitchen through that because they'll be thronging well, all David, of them hungry. David raises an interesting point. How many? You said a lot of children. How many are down there? I'm not willing to say. <laughs> Did you give us a ballpark? Nope. When do your but... children wake? One o'clock, two o'clock. So, so the you're, older ones. You're, you're, you've 
woken up at 5 a.m. So you, you've got to kill. Sort of <laughs> this is why it's about eight hours. Eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> so, what did you do? <laughs> this is just getting more ridiculous and ridiculous. So, uh, look, man. I would get like you want to get be sure you eat before and have a cup of tea or coffee or whatever yeah. before you go down and face your children. <laughs> but uh, I uh, now 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 in all all full disclosure, toast is my go-to for oh. a midnight snack because it is quiet. Microwave has the bells and the dinging yeah right yeah. um toast is great mm -hmm. for bed but it doesn't wake anyone up right exactly yeah so i i from that sheer fact that i really truly don't know alone i will say true but like not waking the kids up is a real thing yeah yeah that is, that's a real thing <laughs> that's a real like re if I, it, I i can't even eat chips unless i dip them in water you know <laughs> what i mean like they will everyone will wake up oh, so yeah. they they're are you saying alexander in and holly are not light sleepers no are not are they're not they heavy are, sleepers they're, they're very, very light they're very light sleepers very light. oh yep. man I'm sorry, man. I'm really no, sorry. It's it's all right, man. But that's that's the only thing. That's that's what I'm saying. It's it's it still is true because it's a very valid option. If I could if I could go to sleep, have a toaster there, put bread in it for the morning, click it, have a pop up when I wake up, breakfast done. There you so, go, man. I'm ready. I'm ready. Now, now I actually do do toast as a midnight snack myself to keep from waking up both Nana and and Bella. Um what, what's what's your go-to on toast? You just take it plain. Just, do you no, just put, butter. Just butter, 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 just butter. Just nice, butter. nice. Some, some butter and toast, and then and that that should be enough to get yeah. me to survive until the morning. There you go, man. There you go. I do that butter too, but I also have uh cinnamon toast crunch, uh cinnamon sugar that I put on it. You know, do okay. the poor the poor man cinnamon roll. Hey man, so, that works as well. But I know weird. sugar would keep me up. Right, right, yeah. yeah. So let's. <laughs> as 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 everyone wants to know what our sleep regimen is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Let's see, Bob. You know. So you see, looking at that toast right now. <laughs> you can't make it last. Just nibbling it. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I don't even eat it, Suggs. <laughs> I don't even bother. Just sucks it so he doesn't wake his wife up. <laughs> There's no hurry. Yeah. I mean, you've got to want to no hurry. <laughs> <laughs> One, what are you having for lunch? <laughs> Where's all the lunch stuff? <laughs> In the wardrobe. <laughs> a little gas stove and a tin of beans. <laughs> I take the puddle off the side of the bun. <laughs> <laughs> a little colour gas. <laughs> Some spam. <laughs> Maybe oh. make a corned beef hash in the front. <laughs> Oh my God! What are you gonna say? I, I'm. All right, F all uh, right. We're gonna lock in our answers here. I'm gonna go true. I think I'm gonna go true. Yeah, yeah. I think we've said true right at the beginning. We yeah. just know at yeah. this point. Oh God! Oh God! Leaning towards that this is the truth. You see that? <laughs> you see that madness? This is how the madness oh, takes you. This is what it does. This is what it does. It plays with your mind. Just... And even if we're wrong, all we know is tomorrow we can wake up and go down to our kitchens, whereas he's got to wake up. We win a life. You see, no, that's not true. Because if we say it's true and we're wrong, mm. yes, tomorrow we can go down to our kitchen yeah. and have a normal breakfast. Yeah. But so it turns out, can he? <laughs> <laughs> he'll be going, he'll be skipping down the stairs laughing. <laughs> 
and you have to get up two hours earlier than him, serve him breakfast. <laughs> you'll never believe what they believe. Oh, uh, those fools on the television. <laughs> More bacon, China. <laughs> It's true. true. We, we, we have two things to choose between. Yeah. Let's assume <laughs> we'll be wrong. Yeah. Whatever we say. So yeah. which would we prefer? To say it's true and we're wrong, or to say it's a lie and we're wrong? That's the choice. <laughs> I think saying it's a lie and we're wrong is easier to live with <laughs> than saying it's true and we're wrong. I think it's true. But you oh, think it's God. true? Yeah, I do. So, we shall we go with true? Oh, go on then, Dave. Oh, OK, oh, we're going to go God. with true, and this is... The future is... Please be telling the truth. Yeah. OK, okay. we'll say true. saying uh, it's, it's true. Bob, was it true? How was it Or was it a lie? Oh, God. I was telling a lie. <laughs> <laughs> oh! 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, it's a lie. Bob doesn't keep a toaster by his bed. Oh, my God, Bob, oh, That noise oh, signals time is up. So soon! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Man. I wanted that to be true so badly. You know what happens is because I'm in a similar situation that I wanted, I needed it to be true. Yeah, yeah. Come on, man. Oh. It's it's like when you're when you're when you're surviving at home and you're like oh my god I can't wake up the kid I can't wake up the wife and I'm like I'm walking on eggshells as is yeah and I'm like <laughs> dude what the hell am I doing I'm like a ninja mm. at night trying to eat but oh. man come on I and <laughs> you know what though you know what though I'll, I'll I'll give it this it's someone's truth because it's my truth so. F that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> F that. It's my truth. Oh, oh man. man. All right. <sighs> I, I think this might be the last one. Let me let me just double check. Actually, no, there's a couple more. Uh this uh this one and two more after that. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'll cut that part out. All right. Uh did right. did you need to cut? Yep. Okay, let's cut. Oh bro. Yeah, I get I, it. I got it. Yeah, dude. I've I've I drank tonight. I don't drink. So this month, it's. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that part in. Yeah. Yep. Ow. I'm gonna leave that part in too. It's Bob. Oh, mother of God! No. <laughs> <laughs> David's already over it. He he's knows like, what's coming. He's like true. Fuck it. He's like yeah. true. This look on his face, this this right here, just says it all right here. He's like, uh, uh, this is fine. This is He's fine. Like, you don't ask me to unpack this. It's like the time I'm about to throw at this Bob Mortimer story that's most likely true is going to be ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> I recently had to pull out of a TV show because my teeth fell out. <laughs> David's team. What was the TV show? Sunday Brunch. And why had your teeth fallen out? Because I bit on a Kit Kat Chunky. Oh, yeah. <laughs> OK. <laughs> God, I, I may need you to take... You I'll know, take the reins. ...lead counsel on this. <laughs> OK, so, Bob, for many years, a Kit Kat Chunky was my favourite chocolate because of the lack of suction. Now, you bite into a Curly Whirly, you ain't never getting those teeth back, right? <laughs> but when you say the lack of suction, mm -hmm. what in God's name do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying here, if you bite into a curly whirly, it engulfs your tooth and it ain't letting go. But it's yes. not suction, is it? It is suction because it when... creates a vacuum of ooze. <laughs> I am on Munya's side about the word suction in this instance. Thank you. Oh, well, on his side? Yeah, he's Munya, you're Rob, remember? Yeah. <laughs> on his side? Because it is a sort of suction. It, it, it sticks and as it pulls, it's... Well, it creates a vacuum of ooze. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> right. So what yeah. happened? What... We had curly whirlies. We sent some uh, subscribers sent them to us and... Can confirm. All all I know is that fuck you eclairs. Yeah. That's all I know. Is yep. how dare you? Yeah. You sick fucks. <laughs>
like <laughs> what the shit anyway but yeah okay vacuum with suction the thing is i understand exactly what he's talking about <laughs> i understand exactly what he's talking about like it's different biting into a let's say a laffy taffy or a starburst yeah yeah right trying to get that out of your teeth opposed to let's say just a regular chocolate bar mm-hmm. completely different completely yeah. different so oh yeah oh yeah i was looking up what a kit kat chunky is and them things is thick they're like oh. a, a thick daddy version of a regular kit kat let me see if i can pull this up on is on it the... like a take five or is it like a it's one of them one of them oh. it's like oh it's 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 a really thick uh kit kat like okay. our kit kat over here in the states is a lot thinner than that yeah so yeah. wow so okay. maybe maybe Bob's telling the truth here. I'll, I'll let him tell his story first, though. Don't befell your teeth. I keep my Kit Kat chunkies in the fridge, so it was very hard. So it's like biting into a rock, and I so, lost. But the... not the freezer, though. Just the fridge. Mm. It's. Do you know what? It's a fridge drawer. Oh, one of those yes. drawers that are refrigerated. Yeah. Oh, uh, they're been... very fancy. Oh, <laughs> what a purchase! Yeah. <laughs> What's the context under which you're eating this? Is it relaxed? I wasn't thinking about um, anything in particular. Maybe um, the band ELO. <laughs> <laughs> Which period of ELO's career would you have been dwelling on? The <laughs> early period before they met in Birmingham. Before they met? Yes, yeah, before so they, they met. So they weren't even a band? No. What are you going to do with your life? I don't know, maybe make stock cubes? <laughs> <laughs> maybe we should start a band? But Just you said you were on Sunday brunch, or did I imagine that? No, I had to cancel my... Oh, you cancelled Sunday brunch? I lost everyone. What? What? <laughs> you bit into it with abandon, <laughs> Yeah, you lost, what, four top teeth? <laughs> Nine. No- Nine? <laughs> Nine? <laughs> yes. all, all along the top. You take one bite. From, from one this bite, on... and that's it. Nine teeth it are no, toast. No, no, yes, no, no, no. it can't be. Uh, it can't be. The girth of the Kit Kat chunky is not nine teeth. Yeah, <laughs> I mean I couldn't that have put a... it better. That is... <laughs> <laughs> it's only gonna. T- yeah, yeah, yeah. You all remember, you know, the story of him doing the Fuji his own... nine. The Fuji, Fuji nine. nine. Yeah, yeah. In his son's gamer chair. Kind of like this, and you know, on a, on a table on underneath, a table. like the fucking island light. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, <laughs> jump back. Like, ah, 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 yeah, ah, 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 ah. yeah. But yeah, but my guy here that I don't know that hopefully you guys will fill in. Yeah, um, yeah. Just help us out there. Um, brings up a good scientific point: the girth of the Kit Kat. Is not a nine tooth loss. Yeah, unless you're biting it from the side, side. Like, like a psychopath. <laughs> yeah, and I I don't see Bob Mortimer munching down on a on a big ass Kit Kat bar from the side. Like, yeah, I yeah. don't know. He doesn't look like a wild man. Yeah, he's wild in other ways. Yeah, not that way. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. Take four, four, five maximum. If it was three teeth, would you believe it? <laughs> In which case, too late to change your mind, Bob. Yes, <laughs> I would. I would. You believe it was three? Yes. yes. You want to think around that? Why? Because it might help you to decide whether it's true or false. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, David, it's time to decide truth or lie. What do you think? Okay, what do we think? I, you know what, man? There's two things. There's two things tugging at me. <laughs> Tooth things. Tooth things. All right. The Fuji 9 warrants credence to all of this. He yes. does his own dental, which automatically means that shit's rickety as fuck, right? Yeah, yeah. It. it... And that is a stereotype of British people from Americans is that y'all have bad teeth and that your dental work is terrible. So he's not helping to quell any stereotypes. No, no. Just 
off the Fuji 9, which we know is true from yes. our previous explorations down this insanity. Yep, yep. I am going to have to say true, even though even though I'm, I am 100% believing in the girthiness to bite ratio. Yeah. Uh, man. Because of that girth thing, I'm just going to have to go lie. Because nobody, no sane person. I, we know Bob Mortimer is not a sane person. No. Nope. But nobody with any common sense that would bite on a Kit Kat that way. I, now, you go... You you go lengthwise. You don't go side from the side. No, and 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 hear me out on this. I am banking on the fact that because he does his own Fuji Nine, because he does his own dental work, he glues them all together. Yeah. So yeah. it's a pair deal. It's a one and done deal. Mm -hmm. Right. Then right. It's more of a a dentures type deal than mm -hmm. it is a tooth type deal. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, man. I'm gonna stick with lie. You go right. in truth. I want to go let's, truth. Let's let's see who's right. Okay, I did think it was a chafe just because of everything that's happened. Yeah, but yeah. But now I think the the yeah. amount of teeth. Yeah, but here's here's the here's the thing, right? Imagine it's a lie. Yeah. Yeah, I'm only gonna bring you down to my hell. But <laughs> why would he go for nine? Mm. Wouldn't he go for a more believable number if he was making it up? That's true. He would have okay. gone for seven. So why would he say nine unless it's true? <laughs> I can see through Bob, and I know this is a lie. It's up to you, but I'm telling the truth. Yeah, it's a what lie, David. It's true. It's a lie, it's true. Yeah, but it's it doesn't a lie, David. You think it's lie? Hard, though. It just oh, says tape. It just says tape. He could, do, he could be trying to be like. David, stay it's off. just a it's game. True. It's true. <laughs> I think it's true. No, David. No, I don't. I think it's a lie. <laughs> It's a lie. You think it's, it's a, a lie? lie. Going it's a lie. lie? I don't know what I think. All right. You're but saying, I'm saying it's a lie. <laughs> Bob, they think it's a lie. Was it a lie? Or were you telling the truth? I was telling the yeah. truth. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's true. Now, Bob did have to pull out a Sunday brunch when his teeth fell out, and we've got a picture. Take a look at this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, no! Oh, my God, dude. Oh, my God. Let me, hold on, let me, let me I don't usually do this. Let me see if I can change the screen here. Oh, oh my God, Bob. <laughs> oh, my shit. <laughs> <laughs> what they do to you? No. Oh my god. Fuji fucking nine, man. Sue him. Sue god, Fuji nine. That's the most American thing I could say. But still, like, <laughs> dude, what the fuck? You don't uh, Fuji nine all of them together. You know? Ah. Yeah, seriously. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. I love Bob. That's I the most. Love Bob. That's the most satisfying fail I've ever had. I am okay with that. <laughs> Dude. He looks like my cut, like some of my cousins on my dad's side that do meth. God. Dude, that's so bad. Uh, oh, Bob. Oh, if you start talking, if you start talking like this, then I, I wouldn't think he's too out of place. You know what I mean? Def definitely, definitely airy. He doesn't have those front that front line of defense. So it's like <laughs> shh, shh, lot of lot of lot of deep whistles there. Oh God! He's he's gonna he's gonna sound like an old prospector with that with that with that grill right there, <laughs> or lack of grill. Yeah. Oh God. Oh man. Oh. Bob, fucking legend, dude. Yeah. What? I once helped Damon Hill to Grand Prix success by presenting him with a pre-race snack. David's team. <laughs> Well, it certainly tripped off the tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, what was the snack? A scotch egg. <laughs> a 
And is there a definite correlation between him eating that scotch egg and him being successful? He um, felt that the scotch egg had helped him succeed in the race. He told me so. <laughs> is Damon Hill a close friend, Bob? No, no. <laughs> then why were you giving him food stuff? <laughs> well, I'd been invited to the Grand Prix. Which Grand Prix? The, the British. In, in, in which year? Think. <laughs> 1996, David, but I'm not willing to exclude four years either side of that. <laughs> Put it this way, it was definitely one of the decades. Um, <laughs> do you like racing? Then. No, I'm not a, a Formula One fan. Right. I probably uh, prefer soil science. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, soil it, science? It right off the bat. This is true. Mark <laughs> my words. What <laughs> in the actual fuck? Like it it because let's say. Let's say you're an F1 driver. Mm -hmm. And this legend that is Bob Mortimer gives yeah. you scotch egg. What are you going to do? You're going to eat it. It, like, it. I don't know, man. It has to be true. Who can make this shit up? Like, right. Fuck. I don't know, man. I'm just like, if a, if a, depending on how long F1 races were back then, I don't know how long they were, but generally in any mm -hmm. motorsport, F1, NASCAR, uh, IndyCar, IMSA, whatever, rallying, you, it's generally, you don't have food or, you know, a glass of milk or a cup of coffee before getting in the car for yeah. three hours. Yeah. Like, and I, I get that. I, I, I back that. But it's not about what your mind says. It's about what Bob is. Right, right. <laughs> like, like, okay, so he gave it. He gave that scotch egg to Damon Hill. But did he, Damon Hill eat it? I don't know. I, I I'm forgetting that right now because I'm so uh, fucked up from this. I, I dude, it's Oops. so, it's such an extravagant reach. It's such an obscure reach. That no mortal human could make that normally, right? Well, Bob can, yeah. Bob definitely can. <laughs> Who was he driving for? He was driving for one uh, a company um, <laughs> that oh, had right. very fast company cars. <laughs> <laughs> well, that narrows it down. So, why were you permitted access to a major racing driver? Because his manager. Yeah. yeah, Shane Tobacco. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't remember his can't name. Remember his name. <laughs> That's not too far off. Because Marlboro was a huge sponsor. Yeah, man. yeah. I was like, Shane Tobacco. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. God. All right, it's giving it credibility. So I, I'm I'm surprised he didn't go with Camelman. Camelman. Yeah. Camelman. Camelman. That would have been great. That would have been great. Shane Tobacco Shane, is, uh, is, oh, whoever is, it was. Shane Tobacco, whatever. Toba uh, Camelman is the better name. So, Missed opportunity, you say? I would say so. Mm -hmm. I'll give you that one. I, I can't remember his <laughs> name. Remember his name. <laughs> Shane, uh, oh, whoever it was, was also with another bloke, you know, benefiting from hospitality. What was his name? Let's say Top Heavy Ken. Right. <laughs> I remember we went upstairs on the bus. Damon was there. He had a bed in there. Like a sort of Winnebago. Yeah. And it had, you know, mugs with I love cars, I love, <laughs> I love hand brakes, I love headrests. And this is the day of the race. David, this is just like an hour and a half before the an race. An hour and a half oh. before the race. You've turned up an hour and a half early because even though you're more into soil science, you want to soak up the atmosphere <laughs> with a good hour and a half of yeah. waiting before the televised track. Traffic begins. Yes. <laughs> so you turn up. The last thing Damon needs before a race is any quiet time. He just wants a bit of hubbub <laughs> on his bus. Were there any other people there apart from you and Shane and Damon? I was with my wife as well. Yeah. Okay. Mm. And um... top heavy can. <laughs> <laughs> 
So me and the wife went up. I think when you go to someone's home or their Winnebago or whatever, you should... Do you know, like, if you're going to a dinner party at someone's house, you'll always take them a bottle of vinegar, yeah? <laughs> cool. So your gift to thank him for the hospitality was a Scotch egg? No. Oh. I call it pocket meat. Whenever I'm out away from... <laughs> whenever I'm away from the house, I have pocket meat. Yeah. That's what I have, like, a chicken leg <laughs> or pork pie. <laughs> And I thought, I've got some pocket meat. It was a Scotch egg in its cellophane. And I said, Damon, we all know that um, if you pop a sausage roll in an American's pocket, it brings him good luck. <laughs> I said, maybe a Scotch egg would work for a British fella like you. Is, and I gave it to him. Is that a thing? Yeah, very what, much. What, that so. if you put meat in, a, in an American's pocket? It's processed Have meat. Have you ever heard of that? <laughs> not, not really, no. No. It's all been a bit of a lot of talking. <laughs> Uh, has to work. Uh, science, <laughs> science. Fuck you guys. Science. Uh, uh, this is scientific. Give me a, uh, like a slim gym or some some whatever it is before whatever I gotta do brings me good luck or heart attack. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm there for it. Oh my god. Uh, pocket meat. <laughs> that doesn't sound appetizing. That does not sound appetizing. Oh, man. A pocket meat. <laughs> that... <laughs> Bro, oh, that's... talk about the most unflattering thing to call something. Hey, man, I got a little bit of pocket meat. Like, no, 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 no. I don't need to see that. I don't want to taste <laughs> it. I don't want you to whip it out. <laughs> keep, it, keep it hidden. Yeah, keep your pocket meat hidden. All the time. That's how I live life. <laughs> But then again, I believe Bob Mortimer would carry around "quote unquote" pocket meat, right? Like, like a chicken leg or a sausage roll. That's the fucking thing. It's like you know he would. It's like the weirdest. He's like that weird eclectic, disowned ant that doesn't know how to human. Like he's like what? Yeah, I got some pocket meat. It's a scotch egg. Of course you do. Like, of course you do. Oh, God. My God. Wow. <laughs> I have quite forgotten the original bit of the story. Did he eat said scotch egg before uh, the race? I, I'll Did never you? know, Samantha, but after the race, he said that he took the scotch egg round with him. He swore he did. In the I, car? I don't know whether he put it in the glove box on the passenger seat. <laughs> <laughs> or whether, whether he ate it. But, Bob, you're not claiming that he ate the egg. All I'll say is, is that when I was watching, when, when Damon went past, in his tailwind, a person next to me said, Damon's tailwind smelt really meggy, which, <laughs> which, of course, is meat and egg. Meat and egg. Okay. So, what, what are we thinking, Sam? Do you know what? So okay, let's decide. Is this true or is it a lie? <sighs> the the fact that this legend doesn't know if F one cars have have glove boxes <laughs> means it's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I I will go through on this one just because I want it to be true. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> and I guess this is time for me to give some NASCAR tidbits that would support Bob's story. There's uh, no way NASCAR has glove boxes, bro. There's no glove boxes, but there are a couple of instances where there have been things that have been where things are in the car riding along with certain drivers. Like Tim Flock once rode with a monkey uh, shotgun, you know, you know, in the in the seat. And that was the only co-driver uh, instance in NASCAR. It was like 1959 at Daytona. A monkey shotgun. A, mo no, no, a monkey riding in the oh. shotgun position, aka the <laughs> side, the side, the passenger seat. What's this? <laughs> I'm oh. sorry, dude. I'm sorry. I'm like, what is a monkey shotgun? I'm like, no. Oh, duh, duh. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. I didn't mean to American on the sport. I didn't mean to. <laughs> I'm already American by talking like, about it. I'm like, excuse me. 
But what, pray tell, do tell, what is a monkey shotgun? Because I'm here for it. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, gotcha. A monkey that happened to be riding shotgun. Yes. Got it. Yes. And the other instance is uh, Dale Earnhardt, when he won the 98 Daytona 500, he taped a penny to the dashboard of his car that a fan had given him, and it brought him good luck. And so, so I, it would make sense that I don't know if F1 cars have glove compartments in them, but there's places to put stuff and drivers have done it. So maybe uh, Damon Hill taped the scotch egg to the, the door, the floorboard uh, uh, or something. Uh, maybe, but it, like, dude, anyway, I would believe that more if it was, if they were talking about NASCAR. Yeah. F1 is different. Right. F1 right. is all science, bro. Is right, a right. Weight and calibrations, like right, but but most motorsport is these days. But I guess back in the nineties, like there's more there's more grease monkey uh, attitude towards uh, other motorsport that wasn't F one. Yeah, true. But I'm gonna say this is, I'm I'm gonna, I'm team true. I'm because, team true as well because I gotta believe this. Yeah, I die. I want to believe it. Here we go. Sometimes stories are so mad that they've got to be true. What I would say here is be wary when it comes to Bob. Oh, OK. <laughs> Do you remember, David, that I think it was the last time Bob was with us, he told us Chris Shreer told him he yeah. put an egg into his bar. Yes. I can't even remember. Was that true? No. But you believed it was true? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Miles, what are you thinking? Well, I'm... I think that you're sort of somewhat cynically using this as an opportunity to tout your kind of charms <laughs> and you're hoping to kind of drum up work and then your agent's going to get lots of phone calls saying well would Bob Mortimer be able to sort of slip Gareth Bale a pasty and stuff like this <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a lie you think it's a lie but you think it's true I'm on the fence oh dear this is a horrible situation I don't know my instinct is it's a lie you're saying lie okay yeah. Bob Mortimer uh, a lucky scotch egg for Damon Hill at the British Grand Prix truth or lies. <laughs> I was telling the truth. We got it. He's got it again. <laughs> it is an impossible situation. <laughs> One egg thing's true, the other egg thing. How can I have disbelieved <laughs> the wrong egg thing? <laughs> So obviously, what they'd make up some random thing about an egg and a long departed '90s celebrity. <laughs> Is he dead? He's not. No, he's not dead. He's just you never hear from him. What does Damon Hill do now? He's probably into soil science. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's mad. I think David Mitchell is mad. Ah, <laughs> uh, I can't tell. He's so done with Bob. He's like, he's the, like, Arr! I thought, I thought Lee Mac was the anti David, right? Yeah. Like, but it's Bob. Bob, yeah. Bob negates all. Yeah. And you've like, noticed in all of these clips that Bob is always on Lee's team. He's never on David's team. No, no. And I feel like they do that because they would be unstoppable. Or or, yeah. or or David would actually kill Bob. Yeah. So, so. Oh, man. <sighs> On a dark winter's night, I once broke into the garden of the local witch's house and was shocked by what I found there. <laughs> <laughs> David Steve. Uh, we do beg your pardon, but we, we are, are in your, in your garden. garden. Did he say, did this man just say witchers? The witches. witchers, witches. I heard witcher. I mean, I, 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 I could go with you there, but I'm looking at the title of this video here, and it says "local witches," <laughs> not witchers. Witches house. <laughs> I, I absolutely believe him. He doesn't give me a random ass fucking wackadoo title. I'm there for it. Bob did it. <laughs> Like, <laughs> like, it's Bob Moore. This man is a legend of not leaving anything 
un un unlit, right? He yeah. is the master of living life without what ifs. Yes, hundred percent. Okay, uh, uh, how? Uh, at what point? There's a lot of questions. There isn't there? <laughs> <laughs> at what point in your life did this happen? I'm going to guess somewhere between when I was 11 and 13. 12. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say 12. And you say the local witch's house. What do you mean by that? Um, I mean, this is a, a very distant memory now. <laughs> OK. It was the house not very far from me where everyone, all the kids, said that the witch lived. And who did it, live there? Um, I don't know their name. Right. I'll call them Mary Candles. <laughs> It had, it had hedges at the front, you know, with like uncut hedges, a front, uh, a, a front gate covered with hedging. And it said on the, on the front gate, it said simply the words, no thanks. No, oh. really? So that's quite creepy, isn't it? Can I ask a question? Yeah. You're, you started that with saying you were shocked by what you saw there. Yeah. Yes. What what did I, you... Yes, so shocked by what I found there. And what did you find there? I'm not comfortable with telling you that just yet. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not. This is going so far, it's got to be a lie, hasn't it? Let me just say, it does not have to be a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever he says, however absurd, <laughs> it could still be true. <laughs> however <laughs> plausible, it could still be a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Essentially, what we are doing for this section is entirely futile. <laughs> We will talk for a bit, then we will guess, then we'll and guess. then it will be over. <laughs> David is so <laughs> done with him. He's so done he, with Bob. He figured, he figured out who Bob was. Yeah. He is he is the gray area. Mm -hmm. that, <laughs> that should be uh, his nickname, Bob the Gray Area. <laughs> he, just, he could be the true or false or whatever. Like... If it happened, great. If it didn't happen, fucking great. Like, yeah. like it doesn't... Like, what the fuck is going on? He doesn't on? care either way. I believe it's true. When you mention Bob Mortimer and Witch's Houses, I'm here for it. Yeah. I'll, I'll reserve judgment. So how did you come to, to go into this house? Who were you with? I was with... Um, what was he called? <laughs> I was with Ken, Ken Numbers. <laughs> Ken Chase, Numbers. That, yeah. Yeah, Ronnie Calculator's son. <laughs> <laughs> the vibe is it's very unkempt, it's the gardening, because as we all know, Lee, yeah, witches hate gardening, yeah. <laughs> wizards hate plumbing. <laughs> right. yeah. so, so we knew it was a female resident. Right. right. Um, so you've like... never seen Mary Candles. Hold up, time out here. <laughs> witches hate candles, wizards oh. hate plumbing? No, oh, gardening. Gardening. gardening sorry sorry oh. Oh. everyone knows that that's science why isn't that on more t-shirts it's everyone would just hate gardening wizards hate plumbing duh like oh you're right my bad i i was asleep during that class oh god i need to re retake my owls at hard 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 <laughs> Hogwarts, not Hogwarts. <laughs> Hogwarts. <laughs> the, the wish .com. Don't go to that school, guys. Yeah, no, yeah, don't go there. <laughs> but you're only speculating it must be a witch rather than a wizard because it was an unkempt garden, unkempt garden. with no sign of deficient plumbing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and, you know, we wanted to be the first people who said, no, we penetrated, you know, its boundaries. Yeah. We, we went um, into the front lawn, down a, a, a gate to the side, past the bins, past the back door, yeah? And then to the window where um, there was a light on, a big picture window, looked inside, and that's when we saw this extraordinary sight. Well, extraordinary to us as 12-year-olds. what year was it? What was it? You've got to say. It was... <laughs> a tiny, <laughs> tiny horse. <laughs> And the tele I'm not saying it was watching television, that was all that was in the room. It was a tiny horse and a television on. <laughs> <laughs> I did get in the house. You got in the house? Yes, Mrs Candles came out. Right. Hey. Yes, and she said to me, you're one of the Mortimer boys, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Were you? Yeah. 
<laughs> so Ken said, <laughs> um, and she said, would you like to come in and see the horse? Oh. And she took us in, and it stank of paraffin. It was hot. That's horse. Hot, hot no, that was on the house. The oh, horse, I the horse stunk the of paraffin. The horse stink, actually. Did he? Yeah. Of? Meat, hot meat. <laughs> As we were looking at the horse, I always remember this, she came in and she had a toilet seat in her hand. <laughs> and she said, if I gave you some money, do you think you could get rid of this for me? <laughs> <laughs> what did you do with it? Just threw it on our way home, just threw it somewhere else, I, I, I imagine. Did she say what the horse's name was? Max. <laughs> yes. yeah. You'd have thought minimum. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Suds, what, what are you thinking about this? Oh, my God. Oh, man, is this true or not? I I have to uh, go false. Yeah? You were, you were team true earlier. I, so. I'm always team true, but, like... <sighs> it's one of those... Uh, the mini horse, I don't know, man. First of all, is it the same horse from my lovely horse? Uh... <laughs> Euro song, Father Ted. We'll never know. Yeah, no, but I, I don't know, man. Tough, it is. A, I'm gonna say, ah, man. I'm gonna go false, false. I just, it, 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 yeah, it had me towards throughout, but then the mini horse just was like, it, it has to be a lie. It, it, it just the fact that it smelled like meat. Yeah. Yeah. No. Hell no. Let's. Yeah. Oh. I mean, you know, it, it's so preposterous. But David's flung me by saying this is the way he carries on anyway. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah same. I mean, but no, I'm saying lie. Of course. You say it's, it's a, a lie. lie. It was when you said <laughs> the horse smelt like hot meat. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you remember the detail of the paraffin heaters? Yes. Oh, oh yes. yes. We're talking 40, maybe 50 degrees there with those old... Um... 40 or 50 degrees <laughs> centigrade. <laughs> so we're talking like the temperature of the desert in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever see Mary Candles again? No, never. Never mm -hmm. saw her again? Never saw her again. She probably melted in that heat. <laughs> What are you going to say, then, David? Uh, do we think lie? I think it's a lie. I think, lie. It's a lie I think it is a lie. All right, they're yeah. saying it's a lie. Now, we should bear in mind that when it comes to Bob, David has a very poor track record. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if he can be better tonight. Yeah. Bob, truth or lie? I was telling the truth. No! Oh, my God! <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Tell me, you tell me. It's true. Bob really did break into a creepy garden. Wow. I'm done. I'm done. Like, <laughs> that's all the... Oh, sorry. Oh, <laughs> I'm, and I, I'm done. Bye, guys. I just got kicked <laughs> off of the stream. Sorry. It, Bob had me so messed up. Hey. I clicked the wrong thing. Hey, get rid of. it's all right. It happens. I'm very easily deletable. Don't, don't you worry. <laughs> Um, <laughs> it makes sense that it's true. I just can't make sense that it's true. You know yeah. what I mean? Of course it is. It's, I mean, if, if there's proof that witches exist, he's it. It. 100%. I mean, that if there's any, if, if there was someone to break into a witch's house, it'd be Bob fucking Mortimer. Yeah, yeah. He even had the game of, you know, do beg your pardon, we are in your garden. So... Yeah. Come on, man. Come on. Oh, Bob. I love Bob. Fucking uh, man. He I'm is a legend. So, so glad that he's been able, we've been able to yeah. get him back on the channel. Yeah. Oh, man. Me too. It feels like home. It feels yeah. like home. It feels nice. We just reconnected with an old friend. For, Absolutely. For we, you know, we, it's like, it's a good Christmas treat, you know? Yeah. 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 For sure, it's man. Perfect time to do it. Yeah. Anyway, y'all. Thanks for watching. Have a safe, and Merry Christmas, everybody. And make sure you unplug and embrace the holidays. And if not, it'll embrace you, unfortunately. Exactly. exactly. Words to live by. Yep. Merry Christmas, y'all. Later, guys. Fellas, we could be that mistake. Let's do this.